Mary Conyard is settling into her new job at Seattle Pacific University. A Puget Sound native, she grew up active, all the while dealing with hydrocephalus. So I was diagnosed when I was four months old and um, I had four brain surgeries by the time I was four and a half. It's a condition where there's buildup of spinal fluid in cavities of the brain. It can be treated by implanting a shunt, a tube that helps drain excess fluid. Some can have the shunt with no issue, but others might not. Because if a shunt blocks, it can be life-threatening. That's Mike Williams, Mary's doctor. But four years ago, she didn't have anyone to go to for hydrocephalus. That's because she aged out of pediatric care and had to find new doctors, but no one would take her. And so it was very frustrating. Dr. Williams says this is a scenario that's all too common. There are fewer than 10 formal transition programs in the country to help connect adult patients with specialists. They end up going to the emergency room more often than they need to. Uh, and it, it's because they may not recognize whether a, a symptom is or is not a life-threatening symptom. Especially because symptoms are different for each patient and can change with time. Just the anxiety around that, like, what's going on? Is it actually a mission? Is it something else? They're just, it's hard to know. But now, Mary is relieved. One of those programs is at UW Medicine with Dr. Williams. And ultimately what they want is to be certain that hydrocephalus is not harming them. They want that peace of mind, and if something else is going on, they want to be pointed in the right direction for that. She hopes others like her can find that doctor to find those answers. From the UW Medicine Newsroom in Seattle, I'm Katie Chen.